Hello folks, hope you're all doing well. It has been a little while since we've had a good look around to see what's happening around here. So I thought we'd have a bit of a tour today. Why not? It's Sunday morning when I'm filming this. There's nobody else here. So what better time than that for us to have a good look around. Now, I've been feeling like I'm behind all the time this year. So I've not done any early tours because there's been not a lot to see. But eventually, over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting things planted out. So there's some stuff for us to actually see. So I'll come over there in a second. We'll pick you up and we'll have a look around the whole plot and we'll see how the things are looking sort of going into the the real sort of peak start time of the year so we'll be back with you in just a jiffy so as always when we start this plot this is me pretty much here at the gate so we'll pretend we've just come in the gate here we come we've got the compost bin there we'll not worry about that this is a little bit of a fruit area now i put these two fruit trees in last year this one this one here and this one just over that one's a bit smaller now they were a uh, impulse special offer buy from tesco's and they're doing all right this is only their second year like i say they were tiny when i bought them but look, we've got some lovely little blossoms on there on there this one i say this one's not doing quite as well i can't see any blossom on it it's a lot smaller a lot skinnier than the other one but you know it's not it's not looking too bad we've got some raspberries all the way along the fence there you can see we've got some some couch grass and things like that that needs taken out that needs a little bit of tidying up but it's not looking too bad we've got the comfrey over here that's absolutely sprung into life over the past few weeks that'll be great so we'll be harvesting some of that soon to get some comfrey tea made we'll skip past these two empty beds but they'll be stuffing them by the end of the day hopefully now this bed here this is all iceberg lettuces now i didn't intend on doing iceberg lettuces this year but i saw this pack of lettuces and they look lovely in the garden center so I thought I'm having them and I tried to grow iceberg lettuces last year and I did them from seed and they were looking like this and I put them out and there was leather jackets in one of these beds I can't remember which one it was and they ate all the roots and destroyed all the iceberg lettuces and I was devastated because iceberg's one of my favorite lettuces so I saw them at the garden center and thought right we're having a pack of them we're putting them in and we're going to defeat the leather jackets this year all right under this this is the rhubarb bed the rhubarb is absolutely flying there's loads of it i've had so much rhubarb already and you can see it all down here i think there's four different uh, sort of plants here these two at this end the biggest ones these were bought from a garden center about three years ago so they're absolutely flying the two down this end they were grown from seed the, the, the stalks, the stems, the things like that, they're nowhere near as fat, nowhere near as big, struggling, flowering all the time, that sort of stuff. I'm hoping as the years go on, they'll get stronger and stronger though, and we'll see how it goes. So moving on over here, this used to be a potato bed, and I've converted it this year to an asparagus bed. And you can see, you can see the one bit of asparagus that's, that's trying to grow there. So down here up to pretty much where the black plastic is, and down this side there, we've got 10 asparagus crowns in here. This is their first year on here, so we'll get nothing from it this year. Oh, might get something from it next year, we'll see, but nothing much going on in there. This is where we're doing the main crop potatoes. I've only got two rows in at the moment. We've got some King Edwards, and we've got some Maris Pipers. They were planted out a few weeks ago. It's been quite wet, quite warm recently, so you can see that the tops of them are already starting to push up. I didn't expect to see them this soon, but they're here and they're showing already. And let's move up here to this, this rather sad looking bed. This is the parsnip bed. So any of you who watch the, the Potty Mouth Garden Club, you know that we're doing the parsnip challenge. And this is how my parsnip challenge is going. It's not, not particularly good. I think I've got one parsnip here that's, that's germinated. We've got an awful lot of weeds, and over there in the, in the other track, I can see one. Let's, let's go and have a look at it. There it is. Look, there's one other tiny little parsnip just there, started to germinate. This bloom parsnip challenge will be the death of me. I tell you, we'll, we'll see. But all, all that bed that was all dug out, the soil was all milled and put back in, so it's lovely, fine soil for the parsnips to grow in and grow nice and tall and straight. But we'll see. We'll see how I get on. Anyway, let's let's move on. This this is the infamous grass-filled onion bed. Those of you who saw the video the other week, what a, what a mess this was. There was loads of couch grass and different sort of weeds going through all the different holes there that had made in this weed fabric for the onions. 
and it was a bit frustrating because it had been my fault that it had got like that but it's all been cleared out and let me get in a little bit closer and hopefully you can see it is now full well nearly full because we've still got some more to come out of onions and there's a mix of bedfordshire champion and red baron in there so i've still got some of the ones back at home in the greenhouse called fasto that are due to come out soon as well so they'll not be far away we started putting some of the brassicas out this is all cauliflower up this end this is clapton f1 we did clapton f1 last year and it was tremendous it turned out absolutely brilliantly so there's about 10 in there at the moment we've got nothing in this bed but there's stuff going to be coming up over the next week or two ready to go in there and we'll pop up here to this bed here we've got some shallots in here these are echelots or grey shallots they're apparently a fancy french type of shallot that's grown in there they've really again these were quite slow to start with but they've really really come on over the last week or two and sort of sprung into life there there's a couple of little onion sets in between there as well just to fill in any little holes and plugs and gaps and things that we had there now let me just step back a little bit and show you this space here now this space is a little bit of a mess now normally i put potato buckets on top of this pallet and grow them out there and then eventually we'll have the sweet corn over here under there. there's a bed under there under that under that weed fabric over there things are going to get changed around a little bit so i've got a brand new big stonking metal bed that's going to come in here so this pallet collar the one you can see there with nothing in it's going to get moved over here things are going to get shuffled over there i'm going to have this beautiful big u-shaped metal bed so watch out for that video coming up we're going to transform all this area because my idea is we'll come out the out the polytunnel here and we'll have this beautiful u-shaped bed out here with the pallet collars in front of it and i think this will look absolutely smashing once it's done polytunnel uh, nothing to show you at the moment everything's just a bit of a mess temperatures are set to plummet around here over the next couple of days so you know it's it's lovely today let me just spin you around there again we've got the sunshine behind us there so just starting to come through but tonight i mean i looked at the temperature there in the polytunnel that's down to 5.8 degrees last night today sunday i think monday night and tuesday night we've got forecast lows of three degrees overnight so i was tempted to bring up the chilies some of the sweet peppers and get them in there but i'm just going to hold off for another week before they come up and go in there this is the garlic it's grown champion it's looking good doesn't take much looking after go in there take the weeds out and whatnot I think I, I'm trying to remember when I started it off. It was sort of the start of the year. It was around about January, February sort of time. It was out quite early. Grown really, really nicely. Speaking of potato buckets from over there, we've got the potato buckets down here at the moment. I've only got one, two, three, four, five. I've got about another five at home that have just started showing as well. So I'll slowly bring them up and we'll get them sorted out at the plot. Nothing in this bed. There'll be stuff going in it soon. We've got the Brussels sprouts out here at the back. Hopefully you can see them through there. I was maybe a couple of weeks later than I would have liked to have been getting these out. But they're out, they're here. They're growing and we've got this nice big tall net over it because the Brussels sprouts will grow big and tall. We've got a bit of a mess here at the moment because I'm filming two videos at once on today, on Sunday morning. So I'm doing some carrot seed tape there. There'll be a video out on probably Thursday this week, I think, of me doing some seed tape stuff doing the carrots a little bit differently this year so that'll come so they're just out in there we've got again we've got nothing here but i've got leeks on the go that are going to come into this bed pretty soon or once they're big enough they'll come out we've got a bit of a mishmash of stuff in this front bed we've got some onion sets that were left over we've got two tiny little bedfordshire champion onions here that you can't even see that are probably too small to plant out but i'll put them out anyway and then we've got some mixed sort of colored beetroot there at the front on the go and this sort of stuff here you can see on the top there the sort of strawy kind of stuff that's that stuff it's called blooming amazing we got it from the garden center reduced to three quid apparently it's really good as a mulch it's got nutrition in it it stops the soil drying out all that good stuff but for three quid a bag let's give it a shot so we've got this bed over here we've got some spare onion sets down this end we've got some elephant garlic we've got some spring onions we've got some lettuce we've got some more spring onions and we've got some more lettuce so a bit of a a mixed salady crop sort of bed going on in there this bed here these are bedfordshire champion let me open that up for you there there you go you can see them there hopefully a little bit better 
they're getting on all right they only planted out i think it was last weekend i put them out so you know they're still just taking a little bit of time to get settled in the new bed and then whoosh they'll be off the pea and bean frames nothing going on at the back there the peas are firing away again the next week or two they'll be out we've got the broad beans along the front here they were going a bit slow but again the last couple of weeks everything's just taken off and whoosh they're on the way which is good to see Again, nothing much going on around the arch at the moment. I've got some sweet peas that I was meant to bring today, but I forgot to bring, so they'll not be getting planted out. But it's maybe it's not a bad thing that those temperatures are going to drop. It's maybe it's not a bad thing that the sweet peas are going to get another week at home before they come out. Now, these two beds would be quite interesting. So these are the experimental beds. This bed here at the front, this was done with Hugel culture. This bed at the back, that was done with compost that was bought from B&M, so sort of three bags for 15 quid. And you can sort of see the comparison. The, the thing I always notice is the amount of weeds that's grown in this front Hugel cultural bed, where I've used my own compost and things like that. There's loads and loads and loads of weeds in it. There's millions of weeds. Radishes, grown pretty well. Beetroot, going okay. Onions, going okay. The lettuce is going okay. I don't know what's happened to this one sort of red coloured lettuce. Look at it, it's just completely dead. And I've no idea what's caused that or why it's done it. But let's just compare that to the bed at the at the back here. So this was a, the shop bought compost. So it's not, it's not a huge difference. Apart from the dead lettuce, the lettuces are about the same. The onions are about the same. What I would say is the things at the far end, the beetroot, and the radishes that were sown from seed are maybe it's just looking a little bit healthier than the other things that we put in that were already established before we put them in. But we'll see. Time will tell. It's, it's still a little bit sort of early days with this. We'll see how we get on. We'll have a, a proper look in a couple of weeks' time there. Maybe it's when some of that lettuce is ready to harvest, when there's other stuff ready to come out. We'll see how things are looking in that experimental bed. Anyway, over here, and I always get excited with this, look. The strawberries are flowering. Look at them. We've got the, the white flowers on there and the pink flowers on these ones. I can't quite remember the varieties. They've been in here for a, for a couple of years now. And this strawberry bed was revamped as well to put this sort of weed fabric stuff on top. And we just grow the strawberry plants through the holes, which make it much, much, much more manageable. So hopefully... Again, a couple of weeks, a few months, we'll have some strawberries and loads of them. And here we are, pretty much back to where we started. So it's a bit of a whistle stop tour all the way around the plot to see what's going on at this time of year. There's always loads of stuff happening. There's, you know, whether it's stuff getting planted out up here, whether it's back at the greenhouse, or the, at the house getting all the seedlings and stuff sorted out, ready to come up here. The next couple of weeks, the polytunnel is going to be getting sorted with all sorts of bits and pieces. There's chilies, there's sweet peppers, there's aubergines, there's melons, there's cucumbers, and there's some rather poorly looking tomatoes that are going to come up and get planted out. So watch out for that coming up. If you want to see that, please think about subscribing. It's absolutely free. There should be a little red subscribe button on the screen down below. If you click that, that'll help you subscribe. And it's absolutely free, which of course is the best part. So thank you very much for watching, folks. Hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.